To edit your lessons from the Nearpod Library or your Nearpod Library, you will hover over the lesson that you're wishing to edit. And at the bottom of the card, you will see the edit button. Once you click that button, it will give you a notification that you're about to edit a downloaded lesson. If you want to keep the lesson as it was when you first download it, make sure you duplicate it. This will duplicate the lesson without any changes. However, if you don't do that and you click on edit a lesson, it will edit that lesson and it will not save the original, the original lesson as you downloaded it from either Nearpod or when you created it. So your best bet is to click on duplicate the lesson and then go in to edit the lesson. So I'm just going to click on edit the lesson. Once we do that, it will bring us to how the lesson was set up. So this was one that was pulled from the Nearpod library. So I can go in and edit this so that it fits my students. Um, when we pull lessons from the Nearpod library, they're already created and they may have some things in there that you may not need or they may have some things that you may need to add and using the editing feature will allow you to add in those things. So let's get started with the, um, the setup. So once you open this, it will open it back into the dashboard so that you can see each slide as it appears in the lesson. So after um, the first slide, which is your cover slide, you have these slides, which is a slideshow. You can go in and you can edit those as well as um, remove any slide that you don't need. So for example, if I wanted to remove this slide here at the bottom, there is a, um, a menu option here, and one of which is to remove this or remove that background, and you can take that away. You can also hover over it here, click on the three dots, and you can actually delete the slide. Once you delete the slide, it will give you a message or attempt to delete the slide. It will tell you that you won't be able to recover it, and it's a permanent deletion, and it'll be gone. Um, in addition to deleting and removing slides, you can also go in and edit questions that you've placed in there. For example, in this one that was pre-made, there was a poll question on slide five. This is the question and the question says, how much do you already know about writing evidence-based responses? And it gives each response. I know a lot, I know a little, I don't know anything. If we wanted to change this, either if we wanted to change the font size, if we wanted to change um, maybe or highlight a, a specific part of the text, we can do that. If we wanted to change the question in its entirety, we can do that as well, as well as changing the multiple choice responses. We can also add timers in or any audio images that will support the, the question. And we can allow students to answer this either having multiple options. Maybe they want to say they know a lot, but they also know a little. And if you change up the type of question, you can allow students to select multiple um, options. Once you're done doing that, just like with any other lesson that you've created, you can, um, if you're done with editing your entire lesson, you can click Save and Exit, and it will save it. Once it's saved, it will bring it right back to your Nearpod library and that um, lesson that you've downloaded from the Nearpod library, the original Nearpod library, is now saved back with your edits into your library.